from the creators of the Blacklist. Three of the most dangerous Blacklisters are all after the same thing. A second chance. That's all I want. Welcome to the family. The Blacklist Redemption, a new series premiering February 23rd on NBC. I'm Patrick Bias, and I'm an actor and a filmmaker. It's not all about the fame of me. It's about making my family happy, making a difference, having my voice be heard, and showing everyone what I actually go through to become successful. So right now I'm about to go audition for a recurring role on Fox. It's a nice football player role. And um, later on I'm gonna go watch my show that I'm on today that comes on a blacklist with my family for a little bit. And it's gonna be a cool day. So I just got out the audition. I thought I, I did it very good. All right, so I gotta go see my manager for a quick minute. And then I'll go back to New Jersey. And tonight, Blacklist, season premiere. I'll be co-starring, so this should be fun. And much love to East Windsor, Heights Town, always showing love, being supportive, you know. My South Bronx family and my family and friends on Facebook, Instagram, everybody. I really appreciate y'all. What's up, Polio? What's up, Polio? Yeah. Five minutes. All units be advised. Possible sighting. Eyewitness report. Alleged suspect seen entering a silver Chevy minivan. DC plate number Charlie Romeo 73 Romeo 2. Almost a sighting. 12 minutes ago. Perimeter. Within seconds, agents are going to breach this building. They're going to want to speak to you because you called in the tip. Get rid of them. If your brother dies. Downstairs. Right there. 
there? Yeah, you couldn't see me at all. So, just left from my aunt's house, and, um, you know, we was watching a blacklist. And I found out that, like, some of my parts that I was in, that was actually, you know, cut down some, I guess, because, like, the editing, um, you know, just things that you don't have control over just to keep the story going. So, I mean, was in it some little, slightly see me, but, I mean, I'm actually fortunate to actually get a chance to actually be in it. My role in Blue Blood is pretty bigger so and thank you so much for the director for actually giving me a chance to be a part of it and uh thank you everybody who's you know being supportive and you know you know the ball when, when things like this happen is just like can't get discouraged i mean it might feel like a little punch in the chin but it's like you can't get discouraged because you know i've been in this game for so long and i'm not gonna quit and, and Things are falling into place for me still, so like you know, I got billions, I got blue bloods, and some other things in the work. So it happens. But peace and God bless, and thank you so much, guys, for being there for me and the love and everything. Much love, peace. I'm Debbie Lee and I'm Chairman and CEO of BET Networks and it's quite an honor for me to be here tonight uh, and to be part of the blacklist and to have my portrait hanging in the Smithsonian. Uh, wow, it's just really overwhelming and uh, I grew up in Washington and know the significance of the Smithsonian so to be part of this exhibit uh, is so wonderful. Uh, the blacklist is a, a wonderful series and as part of the series they did the portraits of each person but it really magnifies the contribution that African Americans have made to this country and how diverse we are and how beautiful we are and how many shapes and sizes we come in. So uh, I'm very honored to be a part of this. Uh, as far as being a woman, I think, you know, it's interesting. I'm, I'm a woman in business. Um, I get a lot of attention because I'm one of the few uh, female CEOs. And I've never found it to be a handicap, but I think it did take me a while to realize that power is a good thing and find my voice and to be able 